Good afternoon. Um, I'm back again. That's the same shirt. I don't know why we have to go through this crap of telling everybody we're in the same shirt. I don't think anybody walks around dirty. But anyway, um, first of all, I want to say welcome back, Gray Oak. It's good to see you back again. <laughs> I'm so glad to have him back. I'm so sad that he had to go through um, crap like that. It's People are assholes nowadays with the online bullying and just bullshit they say. I just, I don't understand it. Especially when you get people that are, you know, um, I need to move this a little bit. There we go. Especially when you get people that are, are, uh, kind hearted and helpful. It just, the assholes just seem to come out of the woodwork. Uh, but I wanted to come on and I wanted to ask uh, some questions um, to the veteran witches. Um, uh, just like a bunch of questions. I know you guys get questions constantly. And if you're actually viewing my video, I want to give you a thank you right now. Um, because I do notice that you guys get a lot of questions and, and um, whatnot. So let's get started because... Uh, my kids are going to be home soon. So, um, uh, let's see. I've got notes written, so if I'm looking down, that's why. Um, so here's a question. Um, where do you start or how do you start your year in a day? Because I keep hearing this, um, a uh, year and a day. I don't know. Is it Y-A-A-D or something like that? Um, I keep hearing about the, this year in the day deal. So, um, that, that was one of that question. Um, like where is there, is there a specific spark starting point or, um, to just start anywhere? I mean, any suggestions? This is basically what this is. I, I want to hear like everybody's opinions, suggestions, whatnot. Um. Next question, how do you know which god or goddess is for you? Do you study them or is it more of a gut feeling? You know, uh, I hear a lot of people say they hear goddess speak to them. Um, is it like a whisper in your ear? It, is it, uh, now does she shout to you or is it just like little signs, you know? Anyway... <clears throat> So, what are some good books for beginners that are new to the path? Um, let me pause this. I'm going to go get my book for a minute. Just Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Um, I've got a couple of books here. Um, this one's not so witchy, but uh, it's from my friend, and i got to put this out there again. This is a great book right here. It's called The Witching Beauty, Bringing Out Your Inner Goddess. Just loved it. I loved how you could pretty much go to your kitchen and get anything in there. And um, you can get this uh, from Dark Moon Press at www.darkmoonpress.com. Um, and they also uh, give an address, uh, Dark Moon Press, P.O. Box, 11496 Fort Wayne, Indiana, which is my home state, 46858. Dash one four nine six. So again, you can get this to Dark, Dark Moon Press. Star Morgan is the name of the author. Great, great book. Okay, I got this book. I have another book on the way. I can't can't remember what it, the name of it is right now, but um, I can't even remember who suggested it now. Lovely. Okay, when I remember who suggested it, I'll I'll try to. Yeah, I'll try to say who did it, then maybe in the next video I do. But I've got a Wicca, a guide for the solitary practitioner. I haven't started to read this one yet. I just kind of skimmed it when I got it. And I got um, the Book of Shadows for the New Generation Solitary Witch, Silver Raven Wolf. Now, I've heard a lot about this, uh... You know, I've heard good, mostly. Um, my friend, the Gray Oak, he's the one that suggested this um, to me on one of his videos. 
And um, so um, I got this through Thrift Books. I think it was like three or four bucks. Three or four bucks. Look at that sucker. That's a big book. I'm telling you. It's got like, um, let's see here. So, 557 pages to it. Oh, and then back to the Pagan Pride. 558 pages. So, it's got 558 pages. Um, when I read, was reading through it, of course, I haven't read the whole book yet. Reading through it, though, it seemed like something that's more geared toward, um, like the teenage, teenage, college age, um, witches. So, is there anything <laughs> geared to somebody my age, uh, you know, somebody who's a little older but new to the craft? You know, give me the comments. Um... And so there's that question. What what are some good books for beginners and do the path? Okay, and next question, your altar. If you have children, where do you put it? Um I heard a lot of people put theirs in the bedroom. I have a lovely space I would like to use out here, but my boys are into everything constantly. And I mean they're even older. I guess it's called a good old fashioned ass whooping, I guess, but um I just prefer not to even hassle with it. Uh, if I could. Um, so, where do you put your altar? Or, you know, not even answering for me. You could be answering for another new witch that's coming in that has small children. You know, whatever. <clears throat> what is the best place to start when uh, when you start witching? Like, uh, is, are there beginner spells that you're supposed to try out? My hair's all functified. Um... I mean, where it, I almost want to say, like, what grade levels uh, can you start at? So, do you know? Um, next question. Protection spells for your children. Is it okay, even if they're adults? I am, and I don't give a shit. I'm 37 years old. I'll be 38 in January. Um... And I'm a Capricorn. Uh, so, I have, I have a 20-year-old. I have a just turned 18, and I think I know it all year old. I have a 17-year-old who, who thinks he knows it all. And he is a walking hormone. I have an 11-year-old. He thinks he knows it all. They're all boys, too. Let me tell you, uh, you want to talk about, I, I'm surprised I've still got as much hair as I do. You know, I get, I hide my gray, so I do dye those suckers because I have to. But the, these, these last two boys, I'm going to tell you, my mom, and you can tell me all day long, you don't believe in curses, guess what? My mom cursed me because she told me, I hope you have three boys worse than you ever were. Well, guess what? I had five. I got the bonus two. And the bonus two are worse than all three of the oldest three put together. So, any hoot. So, I'm wanting to know if it's okay. Um, I'm not going to put my son's business out there. But, I worry about him a lot. Um, he is also a dad, and that makes me a grandma. And, um, I just want to know if there's things that I, I can do to protect him. Um, I know no matter what happens, you know, he's the one that makes his own choices. I can't make his choices for him. But if I can do something on my end, like protect my babies because I'm mama bear. I want to know what it is I could do. You know, is there like a protection spell I could do? Is there a mojo bag I could make for them? What? I would like to know that. I really would because I will use it. Graveyard dirt. Okay, with uh, Halloween, I've seen a lot of graveyard 
dirt, people collecting graveyard dirt, what have you, question. If you want to protect a family member, hmm, question before, um, would it be the best to use dirt from a family member's grave rather than somebody you don't know? Because um, to me, if I, if I felt that um, another family member needed protection, I would I would probably go to one of my ancestors, or, you know, or my family members. Of course, your family members are ancestors. I'm sorry if this. I'm just trying to hurry so it's not really long like my last one was. But um, I would just think that there would be that much more protection if um, I used graveyard dirt that belonged to one of my family members, like my grandmother or grandfather. Now, this is where I would. I'm kind of you know debating because my grandparents are not buried in a um they're not buried and they don't have like their own mausoleum it's like a big wall with little squares all over the wall so there's really no graveyard to to um collect the dirt so would i go outside the you know the entrance of the the cemetery and collect the dirt there would i go to the curb that's like in the parking area of where their little in in entombment uh our wall is um how would i go about doing that um that's another question i forgot to um ask okay another question how do you come up with your magical name um is it like a, you know, like the Indians, like a vision quest type deal? Do you, do you like dream and you dream up your magical name? Uh, you know, is, how do, how did you come about your magical name? Um, cause I really love to have a magical name. I just can't really think of anything, you know, I'm kind of leaning towards one because it's like continually popping up there. Um, and I was told by a friend who's a medium that that's my totem animal. That's my spirit animal. And it also has a message for me. And I'd really like to know what she's trying to say to me because I'm telling you, I see this, this, this spirit animal. I'm wanting to say two, three, four times a month, I see this animal. And it's not a, a, a totally common um, sight. So, I, I think that might be what I'm supposed to, that, that animal I'm supposed to incorporate into my name. That's my opinion, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just a newly newbie so um what do you really have to have on our order what is a must-have tool what is it that you i mean what not everybody can just afford to go out and i i will i'm an amazon freak i love amazon um right now can't afford to shop on amazon but i love amazon and i noticed that you can purchase an altar kit that's like $80. Not all of us can afford $80. Boom. Just like that. Some of us are poor. You know. We haven't. We don't. Or we haven't done them money spells yet. So any hoot. Tarot question. Um, and this goes for anybody. Um, what helped you most on learning the tarot? What helped you most learn, um, learn your, uh, major arcana? What helped you learn all the, the meanings of the minor arcana, ace through ten? Um, what really, um, so, you know, like, ooh, I really got it, you know, what really helped you? Because... I, I'm really wanting to get this thing. I I have a real good relationship with my cards, let me tell you. And uh, I just, I love 
Eric Dunes tarot Illuminati. I mean that that's my baby. And I, I think it's a him. So I I have a real good relationship with my deck, but I guess it's kind of like trying to, to uh, maybe trust my instincts. I don't know. But uh, I really wanted to come on. I really wanted to ask these questions. So if you could answer my questions, anybody, I'm all for that. And I really want to thank you, Crystal, for answering my question on, on um, witches who do not witch. And I did not take offense to anything. Um, I, like I said, I'm really new. I'm really excited about this path because I feel that um, it, 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 it clicks in me somewhere. I'm just not sure where to start. And I guess I have to really, um, really learn to become um, more sure of myself. Um, I can't... I. I'm at a loss for words right now. Isn't that funny? Because I just talked for like, oh, who knows, maybe an hour with you guys already. But, um, yeah, I just, I, you know, I feel that I'm on the right path. I just, I'm not sure where to start. And I think it's time to start. But I'm not sure where to start. Um... Because I want to be a witch that does witch. You know, even if it is for small things to to some people, you know. It, it is my path. And, um, yeah. Everybody's path is different. Everybody's journey is different. You know, no two people are the same. Um, and I just, I've always felt this, this pull to um the witchy world i have always felt a pull t towards tarot reading um i guess just like hearing other people's bad experiences kind of you know like oh my god you know like i said i was af afraid but um with the video response that you gave me I, I feel a little bit more confident because you and Eden both have, you know, uh, said it's the intention that you put out. And, you know, we've all, you know, done bad things in our life and none of us are perfect. But I'm, I'm ready for, to give good. I'm ready to, um, I just, I, th I feel I'm ready to be more, you know, um, I think being a, a witch for me would be more of a spiritual thing, um, you know, some, something in here just tells me that I'm, I'm on the right path, I'm on the right path, but I'm just not too sure where to start, um, because I, I think we've all had our shares of experiences with church, which I'm not getting, that's a whole other video, but, um, just say I did my church surfing, and it, it kind of like felt the same thing everywhere I went, you know, people tell you on one hand not to do this, but yet they're doing that, and then, um, they're real nice to you in church, but you see them in public and they just walk right on by like they don't even know you. Like they're too good to be in your presence outside of the church doors. And that's bullshit. You should never do that to somebody. I, I just, I don't, I don't, I, I just don't get that. But, you know, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here and not in church, in church on Sunday. And I'm not putting anybody down that does go to church. If that's your thing, that's your thing. It's not mine. My path is not your path. Your path is not mine. We're all different. And, you know, that's just 
that's the way it, it is. That's the way a cookie's going to crumble. So, anyways, I got all my questions out. It's 20 minutes. It's going to take two hours to upload this sucker again. So, that's it. That's all I've got to say. And I hope all you wonderful people out there have a, a beautiful evening. And, um... I might see you again sometime later on the week. I don't know yet. So many blessings and loving all your guys' videos. Have a nice evening.